YouTube was good. It's cut by TP3 and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to do this John Morant style taper. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, lock in. Stay tuned for more. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just comb everything out. I want to get all the curls and kinks out. So when I go through with my wall seniors, it just cuts down nice and smooth. Right here, I'm using my one guard lever fully closed and I'm going with the grain on his hair knocking everything down that I'm about to fade into all right so right here I'm doing the exact same thing but I'm just using my one and a half guards in his corners because his corners are a little less dense than every other part of his hair and I want to make sure I give him that dark look without using the enhancements because you don't need to use enhancements on every single cut I'm just actually going to be a natural cut and yeah I want to give him that same dark look so to start this fade off, I'm gonna grab my trimmers and I'm gonna just ball them out at the bottom. This is kind of gonna be like a low, low to mid taper. So I want that ball line not to be too high. I'm gonna take my wall seniors, go up about a half an inch, fully open. And then I'm gonna close my clipper, attack that bottom line and then open it up halfway and then go right up to that line that I just made. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my one guard fully closed and then go up about another half inch, the same amount that I did for that fully open line. And then I'm gonna put my half guard on fully open. Then I'm gonna close it, notch at that line, and then close it up about halfway and then blend that first line out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my one and a half guard, go up about another half inch. And this is the biggest guard that I'm gonna use in this fade making that last line and then I'm going to put my one guard back on. I'm going to start with the lever fully open and then I'm going to close it up halfway and just blend out that top line right there. So the same thing I did on the left side, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the right side. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. So I'm not even gonna go through the steps. I'm just gonna let the music rock.
So like I said before, I did a one and a half on his corners and I'm gonna do a one close in the middle of the line. That's gonna give it the illusion that everything is all full and all one length without enhancements. This is just a little trick that I like to use. You can use this for any of your clients. Now I'm gonna prep for the shape up. All I'm doing right now is just taking a little bit of Seabreeze and alcohol mixture and I'm gonna wipe off all the dirt, debris, oil. He actually just got his hair done right before this so it's a little bit of gel on his hairline. I just wanna wipe that off and get it nice and clean. And then I take some spritz, put that spritz on his hairline, lock it in, and then I'm gonna blow dry it in place and get it ready and crispy for the shape up. Now to start this lineup, I'm gonna attack his C cups first. Then after I attack the C cups, I'm gonna go right to the vertical bars and just frame out that front line. Once I have the other side down pat, I like to use my comb as a measuring stick just to bring it across his forehead and match up the other side. Then once I have that matched up, I just start in the middle of his line and I'll branch it across to the corner and then spin him around, start at the middle and then branch him out to the corner. I need to figure out how to get better angles at doing the lineups because I feel like every time I do the lineup, I block the camera. So that's something I definitely need to work on with my camera positions to get you a better angle of how to do the front shape up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trim his mustache down and trim his chin hair down, and then I'm just gonna shape up his um, his mustache and his chin hair. So my client does have a taper in the back, but I didn't show it because I'm literally doing the same things on the back that do the sides and I feel like it's just gonna make the video longer. So I shape up his nape, bring it around his ears, and I'm gonna put the finishing touches on this cut. So I lean him back and then I just razor everything to the line. Like I said, we're not using enhancements on this cut. I want everything to be all natural. I wanna show you how that y'all can get a nice crisp shape up without enhancements. I wanna make sure I have, you know, some cuts of enhancements and some cuts without enhancements just to show you how like, everybody doesn't want blackout on their haircuts. Everybody doesn't want that Instagram, quote unquote, that Instagram look, you know what I'm saying?
one thing that I also like to do on my shape ups is go with the grain on the shape up and knock off all the hair that's on the forehead. It may not seem or look like there's hair on anybody's forehead, but I promise you, if you razor someone's forehead, it'll take off all that hair. It'll make the shape up last a little bit longer and it'll make it pop out. All I'm doing now is just putting the final finishing touches on his cut, trimming up his facial hair, getting everything crispy, everything how I want it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what videos y'all wanna see. Let me know if y'all like this video. This is the final product. No enhancements on this cut, all natural. John Morant style, tapers tutorial. Videos on videos on videos is coming soon. Let's go, like, comment, subscribe. You know who it is, Cut by TP3, and I'm out.